Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. Today we're working on a Hot Wheels 55 Chevy. In the past, whenever I tried to do some trim pieces, you can see it's done in black on this particular car. We've always kind of stenciled that out and painted that the best we could to kind of mimic chrome, right? Check this out. Over the weekend, I found some chrome vinyl. Wow, eh? Like this is like the best mirror shot you're gonna get. All arms, man. The whole time, my head has been a camera and you guys didn't even know it. So I found this chrome vinyl and I was super pumped up. Why? Because we have the vinyl cutter and we can make chrome packages. Oh, that's a miss. So here's the old school 55 Chevs from Hot Wheels and you see how it's got this huge rear wheel well? I can't stand that. That's so out to lunch. The trim goes right through the wheel as you can see. So I'm so happy that they redid it and it looks a little bit more legit now. But overall, I really don't care for this car too much. It's kind of finished in like a primer gray. The flames are cool. The pattern's really sweet. And it's probably got some decent details. So I thought today we're gonna redo this a little bit. I wanted to make this a little bit more classic colors. You know, typically these are two-tone, like a red and white, or like a red and gray, or a yellow, and you know, like there's millions of combinations for these cars. On this one specifically, I was thinking we're just gonna do a nice classic red and white with the chrome trim, and then I was gonna figure out something to do with this base. I don't know, we might have to, might have to try to chrome it ourselves or whatever, but. The main purpose of this video is to see if we can make a little bit more realistic trim than what's on here. You feel me? Let's get started. Got some sweet tinted glass. That's gonna look real good. I'm a little bit concerned about sticking my vinyl trim on top of their casted trim. I think that's gonna be a little bit too much. So I think I'm gonna try file down some of this trim and at least reduce how much it's sticking out. You know what I mean? If you guys can think of other uh, cool uses for a chrome vinyl, make sure you shout it out in the comments. I was thinking for doing chrome smokestacks, like what's better than that? Over the years, a lot of people have recommended this stuff to redo chrome trim. And it, as you can see, it looks pretty good. But as far as reflections go, I mean, it's more like aluminum. Compared to our vinyl, I mean, there's a big difference there, right? And it's probably the same price. This is just that aluminum ducting tape. Pretty sure for the vinyl, I paid about $19 for five feet by 12 inches. So even if a guy just wanted to use that for crafts, you wouldn't necessarily need a vinyl cutter to make little chrome pieces if you're good with a knife. Well, this thing's got some weird love stains right from the factory. I'm gonna head over to the spray booth and I'm gonna give this a couple coats of a white sealer. Get it as white as I can. And then uh, I was gonna hit her with some clear coat, bake it in the paint oven for a bit, and then we'll come back and do the next part, okay?
We're just going to give this a nice little scuff here. So I'm going to use my little cutout piece here to help me mask out the perfect two-tone where my trim will just cover the paint line exactly. Okay. Something like that. I just wanted to kind of protect the back here because we're going to be spraying black on the roof and the trim. Since we have a black base, so the only part that's really going to be silver is the trunk and then the two little, I don't know what you call them, little mini fins here. Something like that. And we'll just sneak a piece of tape up in here. All right, is this making sense, you know? We're gonna protect that kind of silver area. We got a black base, so I think it's gonna be pretty sweet, kind of a modern, kind of a modernish looking Bel Air. Q, Q, Q. So I guess now if I just finish masking the trunk off here, we'll probably be ready to go spray some black. I know this project kind of changed on the fly a little bit, but uh, you know, that's kind of what happens sometimes. While I was in the spray booth, I went to Little Rogue and I sprayed down a little bit of purple sparkles. Can't really see them. You can maybe just barely see them. You'll really see them once it's clear coated. Well, that's looking pretty good so far. So I believe the chrome trim is, it's not gonna get clear coated. We're gonna be putting that on last. So right now I'm gonna just do up my little couple details I have. Do these tail lights. And then we'll get the body clear coated and yeah, putting that chrome trim will be probably the second last thing we do before an assembly, you know? I've been kind of working on a master decal sheet that has a whole bunch of different headlights that are a little bit more realistic than doing the silver, but it's not quite ready yet, so. Soon, Monty, soon. So I did some real basic details, some tail lights, headlights, and I did some chrome wipers. I was getting ready to go clear coat this bad boy and then once she's dry, we'll be able to come back and do some trim. I'm looking forward to that and seeing what the whole thing looks like on the rotisserie. You know what I mean?
Okay, before I grab the car body, I was thinking I might be able to make these little chrome pieces look a little bit more realistic if I were to just gently put some dents in this vinyl. You know what I mean? Let's see if it works. So I'm hoping to use the back of my knife here. And on this part of the trim, there's a bunch of little lines. So I wonder if I can't just dent this up a little bit to make this trim look a little bit more realistic. So let me carefully put some markings there and we're gonna put a little mark here where this transition is. We're gonna make a mark here. This isn't gonna look like much on paper, but once she's uh, on the car, it should, uh, it would look better than just having this chrome little hockey stick. You know what I mean? So we're gonna make these little lines. See in that? Got those little lines in there. Those are gonna stay on the decal now, and that's similar to what's on the real car, so it should look pretty cool. And then we have these little slivers here that are just gonna go on the front of the car. I'll show you in a second when I grab the body. We'll get her back up in the stand and give this a try. We'll start with the little sliver piece first, I think, on the front. Where are my tweezies? So this stuff's pretty cool. I got high hopes for this vinyl. I'm hoping to use it a lot more in the future. Something like. Okay, okay. Looking good, looking good. Let me grab the back piece. Might be a little bit tough to see right now. I think she'll show better on the rotisserie. It's a little bit dark. But that's basically the gist of it. Let's do the other side. I feel like these little chrome pieces are gonna be better suited the skinnier they are. These little ones are gonna look better than big ones. I'm gonna put a little bit of wax on this bad boy and then I'm gonna uh, do an assembly and we'll get her on the rotisserie, okay? Here's our 55 Chevy. She's looking pretty good. I'm feeling the black bumpers on this one. I think it goes real real well together with the front end. I wish I chose a little bit different silver for the back end. Maybe more of a gray. Something not so bright. Like maybe an elephant gray metallic or that, uh, that charcoal viola metallic that I have. I'm regretting a little bit how silver it is back there. I think something a little bit more of a like a pewter type gray would be a little bit better, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. Leave a like to support the channel and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye now. See you later.